Okay, my name is uh, Johnson Cerda. I work with uh, Conservation International in the dedicated grant maintenance uh, for Indian peoples and local communities uh, program. Uh, we are the global executing agency. Uh, as uh, CI, as Conservation International, we've been working with indigenous uh, peoples uh, around the world, uh, supporting in uh, climate change activities, supporting them on capacity building to engage, you better engage in the, uh, climate change uh, negotiations. Um, we also uh, work with uh, um, communities in capacity building about you know, climate change topics on the role of forests, uh, about red plus and, and you know those those types, uh, those types of uh, uh, topics but uh, now we are the uh, global executing agency for the um, dedicated grant mechanism and uh, since this is uh, uh, work under uh, the forest investment program we are working with 14 uh, countries to see how we can exchange the best practices they are uh, you know implementing right now with the funding they are receiving from the uh, uh, for the DGM coming from the FIP and this is really interesting because so far we are organizing uh, about uh, three or four um, uh, meetings uh, regional uh, exchange we call it training exchange because we do two things uh, in one hand we do some training on the specific topics of the climate change issues and on the other hand, we try to exchange the best practices we are getting from those 14 countries. So we have done already uh, for Asia, Africa, Latin America. Uh, we did in the last time we did was in the Cerrado region in Brazil. And the next one is going to be Indonesia. So we are expecting to uh, meet again with colleagues there and see what is going on there in terms of uh, forest issues how indigenous peoples and local communities are engaged on those uh, topics in the country and how they are contributing for their own national determined contribution, you know, and also, you know, just to share what in each country they are doing. So those are the topics we are working with the program and we are happy that uh, indigenous peoples and local communities are getting, uh, getting empowered, you know, with this program.